Today I'm making my almond tarts, which have a buttery cookie shell and a dense nutty filling, and then they're covered with pink raspberry glaze. I'm gonna start by making the shell. I'll build it all in my food processor. I'm gonna start with one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, a third of a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna pulse the dry ingredients to combine just a couple of times. I've got three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter that's cold and cubed. I want it cold so that the tart stays light and crumbly. And I'll pulse it together to incorporate the dry ingredients until the butter is pea-sized. Looks good. And now I'll bring the dough together with two egg yolks. And I'm gonna reserve the egg whites for the filling and the yolks will just make these nice and rich in addition to all the butter. I'll plop in the two yolks and I'll blend this together into a dough. And you know it's done when it starts to form a ball, just like this. I'll turn it out onto my counter and then pat it out into a disc and grab my plastic wrap. I'll wrap this up tightly and then it's gonna refrigerate for at least an hour and then it'll make the most buttery, delightful tart shells. My dough has rested and now I'll form my tart shells. And I'm gonna dust my counter with a little flour so it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. This looks nice. I've got a standard cupcake tin that I've greased and a three inch biscuit cutter. And I'll cut out a circle. I'm gonna gently press it into the cupcake tin. And then because the three inches doesn't actually cover the full tin, I'm gonna use my fingers to press it so that the dough comes all the way up to the top. And this is gonna be the perfect holster for the almond filling. I'll continue to shape these and then they're gonna set in the freezer while I make my filling. This filling is moist and dense. It is a killer texture party with the tarts. I start with one cup of almond flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, a little salt, and six tablespoons of softened unsalted butter, the two egg whites that are reserved for making the tart shells, another full egg, and then a teaspoon of almond extract. And that's it. I'm gonna blend this until it's combined. That's smooth and perfect. I'll grab my shells now and fill them up. My tarts are frozen, which will help them maintain their shape in the oven. And I'll fill these guys up until the filling is a quarter of an inch from the top, and that'll give them some space to puff up in the oven. Okay, these are gonna bake now at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes until the tops are lightly round. Oh yes! These have browned beautifully. I'm gonna let these cool while I make my raspberry glaze. This glaze is sweet and a little bit sour and it's gonna make these tarts pop. And I'm using fresh raspberries. I'm gonna grab a sieve and a spatula and I'm gonna press the raspberries through the sieve to get rid of any seeds. And this is essentially just gonna puree them. So I'm just smashing it and kind of using like a scraping motion to get all of the liquid through the sieve, but it'll catch the seeds. That way the glaze will be smooth. This looks great. I have a smooth pink raspberry puree in my bowl. I'll add a splash of almond extract and then one cup of powdered sugar. And I'll stir this up until the powdered sugar has completely incorporated and the glaze is smooth. This is looking really good. And I love this natural pink color. Oh yeah. This is a perfect consistency. To decorate, I'll spread the glaze over the top, like that, and I'm gonna sprinkle on some almonds. I'm just gonna add a tiny pinch of tasteful sprinkles. Just a few. It'll be so pretty. I'm gonna decorate the rest, and I'll try not to eat them along the way. I'm gonna eat one. Mmm flaky and buttery and crunchy on the outside, soft and cakey on the inside. These are insane. 